Hello and welcome to the Python tutorial series. My name is Daniel Lari. In the previous session, uh, we have learned that how to perform uh, the inheritance in Python. So we have uh, seen a few codes uh, by which we can perform the inheritance and we have seen that uh, the private methods cannot be inherited in child class. If you try to do so, then you will get error. In this session, I will talk about two important things. One is uh, super, uh, super method and uh, second one is constructor in inheritance so let's uh, create one uh, example for that so i will create a class with the name of uh, parent here so that will be a meaningful name and method that is m1 okay and here i will write a message m1 from parent okay and uh, i will create a class that is the child class of this parent and it will inherit the parent class so now uh, i'm going to create one more method in child class that is m2 and this will print a message that is m2 from child that's it and if you want to access and if you want to uh, execute the method then you can create the object with child and you can access m2 and you can access m1 we have already seen this one in the previous session now uh, suppose uh, this parent class has uh, constructor so uh, the constructor definition will be like this self and here i will print one message i'm not going to initialize any variable i'm going to just show you that how the constructor behaves uh, uh, in inheritance so i am from parent this is the message that will be printed by your parent class now look at the code I'm going to instantiate the child class that is ch is equal child and uh, if you write this one and if i execute this code then you will find that i am from parent is executing so why this happened because uh, when uh, the child class inherits parent class by default uh, its uh, uh, constructor will be inherited to the child class if the child class does not have the constructor then whenever you will initialize or you will create any object of the child class first of all it will call the parents constructor understand this one and uh, remember this point if the child class does not contain them what if uh, this uh, parent class has a constructor that uh, accept one argument that is message and this message i will print here and in this case if you try to create an object of the child class you will get error i think at this point is clear to all of you that why we are get, uh, getting the error because this init method will be available to the child class so in this case you have to pass one argument that uh, is message here so I, if i write hello then you can see that it is i am from parent and hello if you don't want to uh, call this parent uh, constructor then you have to create one constructor inside the child class so def and init and i will print one message here that is uh, hello from child so in this case if i try to execute this then i will get error because uh, now this will call the init method that is inside the child class so inside the child class uh, we don't have any uh, uh, argument in the, in the constructor so that's why it will be called now the requirement is if i initialize the child class by the child's constructor and i want to call first of all the parents constructor this uh, this is the requirement and this can be a requirement in the actual code also so understand this one if you want to do this then you can do this in two ways first of all there is a method that is called super okay super points to the parent class that is inherited by this child so this child is uh, inherited a parent so now super will represent to this parent okay this parent class and if you want to access this init method you will call super dot and here you will write in it and you need to pass one argument because we have one argument in parents constructor so if i write here that is high so you can see the execution hello from the child when you instantiate this object okay this object so this will call the child's constructor and it will execute and it will print hello from the child and after that it will call super dot in it so it will go and it will execute the parents constructor that's why you are getting the output as 
hello from the child and i am from the parent and hi that you are passing here or uh, if you don't want to uh, execute by using the super then you can write by the class name and we have already seen that how to call a method with the class name so if you try to call a method by the uh, class name first of all you will write class name dot the method name that is in it and here you need to pass the object so object we have already in in it method that is self so we will pass self and message that is any message that you want that is hello so execute this one so as you can see hello from the child first statement second statement is super dot in it and we are passing hi so we are getting output as i am from parent and hi third statement is parent dot in itself and hello so i am from parent and hello so if you want to access any parents class method you can use the super method or you can write the parent name means uh, the parents class name so uh, these two statements you have to remember now the question is when uh, this statement is required so for that i will create one class that is person and in in it uh, i will in uh, i will initialize two uh, data members of this person so person can have the name so self dot name is equal i will pass the name value and here i will write self dot and every person will have age so i will pass age and these two value i will provide through the argument now any person will have the name and age as uh, the property as the attribute so uh, that person could be teacher so i'm taking uh, one class that will be uh, a child of this uh, person so i will write here that is person so this is a uh, these are the property that will be contained by every person that person could be teacher that person could be a student that person could be your um, doctor and any any uh, person could be there so teacher will have its own property that will be not common to other person uh, so suppose i want to extend the property of the person in terms of the teacher so what will i do i will write here that is um, uh, teachers specialization so i will write here that what is your specialization okay so specialization i will specify here so i will write here is uh, self dot and uh, specialization okay so here that is self dot specialization is this specialization so this teacher will have the name and age also so we we should take the benefit of the inheritance and we should call it as super dot in it and in in it we will pass the name and age that will be provided by the child class this is the way that you can initialize the members of your teacher and name and age you want so here i will write one variable that is the name so name i will write first and after that i will provide the age and after that is specialization so we don't need to write the self dot name is equal to name here self dot age is equal to age here we are using the inheritance feature and this is called dry functionality dry functionality means don't repeat yourself so we are not repeating our code and we are using parents constructor to initialize the members so here i will write that is a teacher and name uh, the name you can put anything for example that name is Daniel and age is 30 and specialization in programming so uh, to access the values of this uh, person I will write here that one method to display the details and I can print all the values and here I will pass self dot name let me copy and paste self dot age and self dot specialization so let's call this method ch dot display so as you can see name is daniel and okay this is the copy and paste that is and here i will write a specialization so as you can see so this is name and age and programming so uh, this is the way that you can use the super in uh, child class and suppose uh, your requirement is that you want to call the method m1 from the parent class so uh, let's see uh, in display i'm going to call this method that is m1 so i will write m1 so can we call this m1 direct no uh, so we need to call this by using super dot m1 or we can call by the class name that is person dot m1 and first i will pass self into it and we can call this so this is the way that you can use self and this is the way that 
the init method means the constructor behaves in inheritance so uh, let's summarize it first of all if you have defined uh, any constructor inside your parent class that will be available into child class by default okay and uh, if you instantiate the child's class object you have to match the number of argument that is available into the parent's constructor or you can define the child's constructor also in the child class and in that case if you want to use and if you want to uh, take the benefit of uh, the parents constructor you can call the parents constructor like this and you can initialize the child's class object if you want to uh, call any member from the parent class you can call in two ways first one is by using super method and second one is by using the parents class name so i hope the super and the constructor in inheritance is clear to all of you still if you have doubt then you can put your queries into the comment box i will definitely give you the answer if you're new to this channel please subscribe this channel and there are so many things that i will cover in the future videos please like comment and share thank you bye bye